2.2 Fling Kings by J Concepts on the Capra. They are uh, awesome. Now, uh, these are the meaty ones, not the skinny ones and all that. So I'm going to show this to you on the table and outside we go. This thing could get wild. Take a look. And here we are. So this has a, a Hobby Wing 2300 KV axe in it. I don't think they make that anymore, but it's got that in there. It's got a Reese triple four titanium gear. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully that, that survives. But the star of the show, these big boys right here, J Concepts Fling Kings 2.2, nice, beefy. I don't have much runtime on these. We're gonna give these a try probably on the ramp, the rocks, and then we're gonna hit some dirt because, uh, well, dirt's where these things are gonna shine, right? Now, underneath, um, pretty much stock. It does have some DSM on it. Now look right here, DSM limiter on the back. And it does have a link riser as well. The front also has a DSM right in there. So what that does is that keeps the front end from dropping all the way out and making things unstable, but it still allows full articulation. So with that said, powered up on 3S and outside we go. Now it is morning time. So this is probably not completely in perfect conditions but these tires, they probably won't do very well here anyway. It's just not their thing. Um, you can see that overdrive. <laughs> you know, it's still going higher than the TRX-4 with the, uh, the 2021 Bronco, with those trucks, those tires. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna move on to the rocks because there's less chance of breaking a portal gear with those and then we're gonna to get to the dirt. Now one thing for sure, these tires are not gonna flex. They've got a whole lot of biting edge though. So it'll be interesting to see Yeah, rocks are not their thing. Which, I mean, heck, it's a big old Aggie tire, right? So it's kind of, uh, wasn't meant to be their thing. So I guess uh, I get this done and I'm gonna go see what it can do. I mean, it seems to handle them okay. The 2300 KV Axe. Let's see. Yeah, it's actually got plenty of juice to move. Oh boy. It's gonna be a test for tires, portal gear, hey, WD-40. And that servo. This is an older servo with the titanium gears. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this can take the abuse as well. Um, probably do a 500 on it if I need to for tires like this, but. Nice, nice. Yeah, we got a little bit of rain out here as well, so it's not as dry as it has been. Let's see here. Should be should make quick work of this. <laughs> yeah, these tires are this is where they live. This is where they need to be. Oh, look at that. Did not roll it. Ha ha, still didn't roll it. Um, rolled it. Well, okay. My clean run is gone. See what else I can do here. You know, it's not, not bad. I mean, I think I've already done the uh, 2.6s on it, didn't I? Now, one thing about these portals, um, I'll show you right here the biggest issue that I have with these capper axles right here. That right there is just known for uh, not taking much abuse. 
I'm not gonna mud bog my Capra, but with these tires on it, I'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> the maintenance that I gotta go through after water bogging or just really getting stupid with all these things is just nuts. So, I'd rather not have to go through all that. See, now I'm really getting stupid with it. Oh, nice. I'm at the wasteland of the Exoplex, by the way. It doesn't really have the juice to really jump stuff, though. Ooh, I bet you that ramp will be horrible now. Tires are good and dirty. Got to keep bailing on the jump or the climb. There we go. One thing I got to make sure I keep. Oh, 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 good climb. Good climb. I was able just to hang on to that for a little bit. Very nice. One thing I need to keep out here are some dirt hills. I can get this. <laughs> you know, it's awesome just to see something just barely get it. You know, it's like full throttle all out and it's like, yeah, barely gets it. <sighs> it makes it worth it. I can get this one right here. No, not yet. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Ha <laughs> piece of cake. This is a fun thing. <laughs> this is more fun than when I got the crawler tires on it. Nice. Makes me want to put these on the bomber. Ooh. But the bomber would be awesome out here on these things. Woohoo! <laughs> Now that everything is good and dirty, let's go ahead and try this again. For, for playing like this, it, wow, that is, uh, <laughs> not so good. Well guys, what do you think? I gotta tell you, uh, the ramp on the rocks and the dirt, two thumbs up. Uh, that's where they're meant to be in the dirt, the mud, the sand, which sand is kind of a relevant thing because these can act like paddles if they're spun fast enough. But what's awesome is they kind of throw stuff out from each tire. So it's kind of cool when you really put power to them. If I was to keep these on here um, or take these on here and go on a drive somewhere, I would take the overdrive out of the front. Um, it's too much for what this setup is. And the rocks on crawler tires, well, yeah, the overdrive works great, especially in the turns. Um, and you can actually see the overdrive kind of breaking traction on the ramp. 
and it also happens with the other tires. If that you want maximum traction is I forget there's a percentage of slippage, uh, just a tiny little percentage of slippage, slippage that you actually get traction. You go past that, you start losing traction, kind of like at a drag race. You know, you can spin that tire a little bit and leave a rubber patch, but if you go too far, well, you just lost the race. Simple as that. So, but anyway, um, yeah, if I was to do this right here more often with this, I'd take that overdrive out. Now, also, if you're going to do this, um, I highly recommend some aluminum axle housings and some quality portal gears. I didn't break anything because I wasn't all that rough on it, I don't think, but this could absolutely break the portal gears. And this has the uh, Team Garage hack. I believe it's got the, might be the 1520s or it might be the 1421s up here. I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's been a while, but the rears are actually the stock portal gears. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I rambled on away a little bit too much here at the end. Guys, check that description, and we'll put links to all this stuff down there, so make sure you check that out. So guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Give it a big thumbs up, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for watching.